The Rivet City High Rise Park is back in NBA 2K25, aka the best park of all time, aka 2K16 parks. Yes, this was the high rise park in 2K16, but this is actual footage of the high rise park in NBA 2K25. Yes, our first sight of a park in 2K25. Drop a like on the video right now. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more early 2K25 news because we have tons of city, park, and legend rewards to talk about, and even some my team news in today's video. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. And yes, we are talking about park. We are talking about REP. Uh, I can't say the word because for whatever reason, to YouTube wants to copyright people that say it. But yeah, the legend race, whatever you want to call it, uh, rookie to legend or... Uh, uh, we'll just call it XP. I don't know what you want to call it, but we'll just call it Rookie to Legend, okay? So we got Rookie to Legend to talk about. We got Park to talk about. We got some stuff to talk about here. And first of all, I mean, let's just keep this replaying. This is beautiful. The 2K16 High Rise Park is back in 2K25. If you guys don't know what the 2K16 High Rise Park was, it was basically a park at 2K16 because Rivet City won the Rival Day Championship and they got rewarded with this high rise park. And this is widely known as the best park of all time. Now, as you can see by this video, it looks a little different though, because in the 2K16 park, there was two 1v1v1 courts on each angle of the you know map. And now not only that, the middle court was actually a 2v2 court. But as you can see, this video here is obviously 2K25's version of it, but it's only 3v3 courts and there are got next spots. But then these courts over here only have one got next spot. So what's going on with that? Well, what's going on? Well, unfortunately, guys, I have some bad news. Huh? This park is in my team. I can't, I can't believe I even just said that. Like, 2K has been being asked to bring back these old parks for damn near a decade. And the best park of all time is not for park? It's not for my career? It's for my team. I mean, when I first heard this news, bro, I, I was stunned. I was literally stunned. Please, everybody, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I mean, I feel like 2K just like they threw a Hail Mary, right? Like prime Tom Brady just threw a Hail Mary to Randy Moss. Like they're battling the Super Bowl. Like it's like their undefeated season against the Giants in the Super Bowl. And he caught, he catches it and he just fumbles it. Like they just fumbled. Like they, they had it. Like imagine if this park was the park. For 2K25? People would go crazy. This, this would be amazing. With 2v2 courts and 1v1 courts. It, it, it's disappointing, man. And I usually am, you know, kind of happy about a lot of 2K news. And then if I'm not happy, it's kind of just whatever. But this news is devastating, man. It, it's devastating. Like, I don't even want to just yap about it. because, But just know that I'm devastated about it. Like, they really could have had this in the 2K25 part, but this does mean a lot of different things. Now, before we get into what this does mean and the Rookie to Legend stuff, let's go ahead and just explain a couple of things because you're probably wondering, well, how is this in the in my team, Double H? Like, what are you talking about? So let's go ahead and explain. Let's pop up some screenshots on the screen of the news they dropped today for my team. Because yeah, today was my team news that they released. But there's a bunch of stuff about park and this is one of the things and it's called triple threat park all right let's go ahead and read this fully and then let's go ahead and dissect it okay only available on new gen nba 225 introduces one of the biggest upgrades to my team in its history triple threat park meet new friends face to face or team up or play against the new home for triple threat online and triple threat online quote multiplayer games triple threat park will be accessible on ps5 xbox series and x pc and from within the my team or from the city uh for the first time you will take on you will take the court in park gameplay with nba players while your m while your my players cheer from the sidelines triple threat park is a faithful remaster of 2k 16 service city championship my part including details down to the iconic chain nets and glass walkways 
This is one of the most iconic my parks in NBA 2K history. Like the original Rivet City rooftop, there are a total of nine courts. Four of these courts are to my player 3v3 games, where each person controls a three player card lineup. The other five courts are for six 3v3 co op players, where each person controls one player card with these two. Two of these courts designated as no squad courts. Okay. You can earn rewards in Triple Threat Park every day just by getting a win or going on win streaks with even more rewards available from challenges and limited time events. Show off your My Team XP progress, your ranking from the last King of the Court event, your current showdown tier, and as well as your choice My Player card on your customized uh, player panel as you walk around the Triple Threat Park as your My Player. Once you approach Court's open god next to your My Player, walk into the court and present your My Team cards, which then reveal the NBA players you'll be controlling. Express your style with your My Player across both My Career and My Team as a parable. Customizations earned through season rewards now benefit Triple Threat Park as well. There's also a pop up shop within Triple Threat Park where you can access your swag and pick up new My Team cards from the player market. Okay, so now let's talk about this, right? So, number one, you can enter this park from the city. So, this is going to be taking up space in the city, number one. I think that's just. You know, obviously, park players want the city to be as small as possible, and buildings like this is taking up more space, which is making it even bigger. So, it's not a good thing for us park players. Um, let me know in the comments, by the way, as a park player, are you going to be playing this? Because personally, I'm probably going to watch a my team play it for five minutes, or a my team player play it for like five minutes, and I'm probably never going to touch it. And that's just unfortunate because I'd love to play in the Rivet City Park with my my player, but this is not gonna give that same experience man this is my this is just my team on blue courts at this point you know what i'm saying it's not it's not the same for me so i will not be playing in it let me know if you guys are though or if you're just gonna check it out and probably just dip to micro let me know anyways it really just seems like this is a whole thing to try to get park players to play my team and if you guys know anything about 2k they've been trying to do this for a while now they probably do make a lot more money with my team so i mean they've been giving us my team rewards in our level 1 to 40 pass like i mean they like think about it in my team there's no my career rewards in their level 1 to 40 pass but there is in my park like it, it just it doesn't add up right they're they're year after year they're trying to make my park players go to my team and i feel like this is another way of them doing that by literally bringing basically the game mode and taking advantage of its best park of all time and putting it in the game mode. Yeah, I mean, this means a couple things, right? Number one, this means this even confirms even further that 2K wants park players to go to my team. Number two, this this does mean a couple other things, you know? It means that 2K sees the nostalgia factor. They know that we loved Rivet City, Old Town Flyer, Sunset Beach Ballers, and you know they're aware of that which is a good thing and they're taking advantage of this nostalgia factor here right now now we haven't seen the 2k25 parks for the city so think about it for a second if they're giving us the rivet city championship park 2k16's rivet city championship park for 2k25 my team uh triple threat co-op or whatever what are they gonna bring us for the city right because you know at first i was like really upset and i was like okay like bro like there's no way they did this and i still am upset but there's no way they don't bring us you know like a sunset beach park or an old town park or maybe like rivets original park for for act the actual park game mode right because clearly they're aware of the nostalgia factor clearly they have the power to bring this stuff back and clearly they're willing to bring this stuff back now the question is is it going to be back for park let me know in the comments so that that is something to hope for it is something to think about it now if it isn't in park wow this is going to be disappointing because they just dropped the best park ever in the wrong freaking game mode that is insane that is literally insane bro like i still cannot believe they did that I still can't believe it. They could have had so many returning players for Park. Let me know if you're a Park player and if you're disappointed in this and if you're even going to be playing my team in this. I have been playing well past since 2K16. I played in this park in 2K16, grinding the Legend 2. I love this park. And it not being in Park, but being in my team in 2K25 is highly disappointing. I feel like they dropped the ball and I will not be playing it, bro. I will not be playing this in my team.
no chance. I, I just gotta be honest with y'all, bro. I, when I break these news on my YouTube, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, that is for sure. Then the third and last thing I wanna mention about this is that they did mention that you could get rewards by more rewards by streaking in here. If you guys didn't know, personally, I've been advocating this idea for years now, where basically the bigger win streak you get on, you get like more rewards for you, like some kind of reward for streaking to incentivize people to stay on the spot and to streak, and maybe into even to incentivize people to end streaks to give them rewards for ending a streak, right? And they did mention that there is that in this my team like co-op Rivet City mode. Okay, so it, it, is that gonna be in park? It, it better be in park, right? I mean, I've been asking for it in park forever. And then they add a park to the my team mode and it's in there. So hopefully that's in park two because that would be fire. The other thing to talk about is my team REP, okay? Because this is gonna correlate to my career REP. I can't say the word once again, but we'll just call it Rookie to Legend. So my team Rookie to Legend, they have it in there. Uh, it's never been in my team before. I'm surprised they didn't add it beforehand, but this is what they got for my team's Rookie to Legend. Introducing a Rookie to Legend system to my team uh, REP serves as a year-long measure of success and does not reset like the 40 levels in each season. There are 11 levels of My Team REP rewards represented by the familiar My Team gem colors, bronze through dark matter. The My Team REP menus also features a leaderboard to the top 10 REP players designated with invisible logos, with the number one overall receiving the GOAT logo. These REP logos, regardless if you are in the top 10 or making progress at your own pace will appear besides you throughout my team. You'll earn REP by completing challenges, uh, completing games, and there will also be two times XP events or give you to give you a boost. You'll feel the progression of your my team as you rise the ranks of your my team journey this year. Each time you REP up, you will unlock new rewards, including access to the auction house, expanded my auctions capacity to hold your cards, returning rewards like the fireball in the my team Coliseum, regularly released three packs in the, in the pack market and an exclusive goat Jason Tatum player card by reaching the dark matter tier. You can even earn automatic access to weekend king of the court events without needing to qualify each week. Those who are at the end of the July, those who are ranked in the my team REP top 10 as a visible of goat level players will receive the ultimate rewards related to NBA 226 my season modes. And we'll, we will share the more information on that later in the year. All right, so this is actually very interesting. So let's talk about this. So number one, they talked about how there is um, top 10 again, just like there was last year for Park. Now, is that does that mean there will be top 10 in Park for 2K25? No. Is there a good chance of that? I mean, if it's in my team, probably, right? Hopefully not, though, because I feel like Park players really said and kind of expressed that they did not like that. Kind of like the Rookie to Legend system the best. And we hope that comes back. Uh, they also talked about how you can, I'm pretty sure you can lose your rewards in this and then you can go back in and gain them back. I don't like that either, but there are levels before that kind of like Park had this year with veteran one, two, and three. They also talked about how there's rewards for 2k26. So are there going to be rewards for being in this top 10 at the end of the year for 2k26 for Park as well? Is that maybe like because they used to have stuff like that with uh immortalization where if you hit legend at a certain time frame you would be immortalized into the next 2k and you'd be on like this wall of fame so is that returning possibly but this definitely means that this rep system is back for 2k25 so at least it wasn't removed like it was in 2k22 but once again we don't know what kind of system they're going to add for park but I feel like the best situation we can get out of all this, guys, is number one, that 2K applies this nostalgia factor um, with this Rivet City Park to the actual park, and they give us Old Town, they give us Sunset, they give us Rivet, or they give us some old parks back, and then make those the actual parks, and they remove, uh, they remove Elite Park, and they remove Rise, and they just replace them with the old nostalgic parks. That's, that's the, you know, the best situation with that. Then the best situation with the rookie to legend, the RI or the REP stuff is that, you know, they just throw the top 10 stuff in my team like they showed us right there. And then they bring us a rookie to legend system that has good re gameplay rewards, is a good grind too. So you actually have to grind to get there and is rewarding. Okay, so hope that's that's what I'm hoping for, that they kind of just threw that top 10 system into my team 
and kind of just you know gave them the leftovers and then gave us the new kind of system that's based off rookie to legend so hopefully that's what happens okay that's what we can hope as park and my career players other than that let's get into the rest of the my team news now lastly let's go ahead and provide all of the my team news now some of this news is some of the stuff i was talking about earlier in the video but i'm not really going to go into depth of this news because i don't really play this game mode but i thought for my people who do watch or play my team would like to see these screenshots or like to read some of this stuff over or like to hear a couple of these things so here's for these are all screenshots by the way from the courtside report 2k dropped about my team so number one the auction house is back i don't play a lot of my team i do know that was something that was removed that people wanted back and a lot of people were doubting that it wasn't going to come back i don't know i don't even play my team i thought it was obvious that like especially with how much the community hated it not being in the game that it was obviously going to come back but yeah it is back and then the second part of the news was the triple threat park they had a couple different paragraphs about this if you guys want to pause the video at any point when i show this my team no news make sure to just pause read it over we talked about this earlier and how it could affect my career news or how could it affect the city um but yeah this is pretty crazy though uh we do i'm not gonna say much more about it but it is insane that 2k is bringing this to my team and then another paragraph that was related to the my team park kind of thing was the showcase spot where you can like open packs and it basically just like shows like the in the park and stuff y'all could read it over nothing too crazy here they also talked about another game mode in my team called breakout i haven't played my team since like 2k 16 and this kind of reminds me of domination which i'm sure was in the game for a good amount of time it's basically just offline challenges uh to get rewards and they kind of just change it up a little bit was is what it seems or looks like then they talked about this showdown event which is apparently a replacing the unlimited uh game mode in my team it's gonna be like a competitive leaderboards kind of mode where all the good players go in there to compete against each other and then if you compete you basically compete in there each week and after a certain amount of time you either don't qualify or you do qualify for this other event that's called king of the court and they also talked about king of the court in this paragraph here which honestly sounds dope it's gonna give out a bunch of rewards it's gonna be like basically like un it's like it's like unlimited boost events in my career but like its own version in my team uh and there's gonna be like a good card prizes there's gonna be 1 million vc and all that and it's gonna be interesting because obviously you guys know that the my career events have a huge problem with cheaters whether that's boosting or using a device to shoot the ball for them i wonder how that's gonna affect in my team because are they are there gonna be cheaters in there probably so is it gonna ruin the whole event like it does for the most part in my crew we're gonna have to see but uh it should be interesting because this is the first type of event that they've done in my team that is kind of the same style that they've had in my career for years now then there was another paragraph talking about my team's challenges once again if i'm going too fast over these rewind pause read it over it's just i'm not really a my team guru so that's why i was just talking about during the video like things that were related to my career because obviously i'm a my career player my career youtuber next paragraph was my team rep i'm not saying that three letter word because for whatever reason youtube just copyrights everybody that says it so we'll just call it xp so my team xp we talked about this earlier and how it could affect the park and my thoughts on it um i'm surprised they haven't been added this to my team because originally level of one to 40 was in my team then it got out of the park so you'd think they would have done the reversal earlier but now they're finally doing it they're bringing my team or they're bringing xp to my team so i think this is a good addition for my team it looks like my team has a lot of stuff to grind a lot of stuff to play so honestly i'm not a my team player but it looks like if you are a my team player you're gonna have like an insane amount of content this year so it's looking good for y'all in that sense i don't know if this is actual good news for my team or not because i'm not a my team player but y'all let me know in the comments and they talked about like how getting started in my team works this year with like beginner packs and what the you know learning screen looks like they talked about the new menus and the new ui and how all of that stuff is gonna work 
or look like and then they talked about a bunch of random stuff with my team like lineups management and coaching card collecting and all that good stuff and then they had some screenshots so i'm guessing these are like the legends that you can pick to start your my team because they're free agent cards i know that much that free agent cards are like the cards that you can only use for a certain amount of games that you get in the beginning of the year so they got ai michael jordan julius Irving, kevin garnett kareem abdul jabbar they got another screen with like current players so you got luca anthony edwards kevin durant Giannis, Jokic. now here is a screenshot of the xp rewards uh we talked about this earlier we showed this earlier here it is again if you guys want to look at it also has a leaderboard screen as well then we have just the home my team menu screen honestly i think these menus look clean they don't they don't look too bad once again you see the mt in the top right a lot of people for whatever reason thought mt was just going to be gone in 2k25 no it's still there you got mt you got vc still and then they got the breakout mode screenshot that kind of mode that was you know replacing domination or kind of like domination that we talked about earlier and then we also have the training hub when you first log into my team just stuff that you know that helps you get it's kind of like the learn 2k thing from the my career news but just the my team version kind of help you learn my team so after hearing all that y'all let me know in the comments your thoughts especially on the rep stuff uh, with the rookie to legend stuff and the rivet city park being put into my team and not park i mean we don't know that it's not in park but it is in my team that's what we do know so make sure to drop a like in this video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new let me know all of your thoughts in the comments i'm gonna be reading all the comments appreciate y'all for watching this video make sure you are subscribed with noties on so you guys can get that city park early build news early because i will be providing all that stuff and all that gameplay stuff the quickest and the fastest and the ear earlier than anybody else okay so make sure to stay subscribed with the noties on it's video boy henry aka double h and i'm out y'all peace